Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the transport layer security, which is in short also called as TLS. Okay, so uh, basically, this is also a very short video and a very easy video, like the previous one. Like this, like uh, the uh, the previous one which we have discussed HTTPS protocol video. So the same. This is also very simple, very short, and very easy. So let us get into the video. First of all, it is defined in RFC two two four six. What do you mean by RFC? It is request for comments. Request for comments. Okay, so it is defined in RFC double two four six. And next, why we need this TLS transport layer security? Transport layer security is needed for providing the security in the transport layer. So when the data is traveling from transport layer to its next layer or to its below layer, we need to provide the security to the data, right? So the data should not be uh, lost. So in order to provide that security, we will be using this TLS. Got it? Transport layer security. It is used for providing the security in the transport layer. Got it? And it is derived from SSL. Derived from SSL in the sense we will be using some concepts which are related to SSL here that is the handshake protocol I have already explained about SSL handshake protocol if you have missed that video just go back to that video and first learn that and then come here so it completely the working of this transport layer security completely depends on the SSL handshake protocol itself got it now so done derived from SSL is done it provides a secured connection between the client and the server so that the no third party can interfere in between no hacker or no attacker can come in between and steal the data right uh, so this is about the security that that is uh, the security between the client and server got it and next tls is used by http smtp that is many of the protocols many of the file transfer protocols or message transfer protocol or mail transfer protocols uh, will be using this tls transport layer security they will be using in order to ensure the security in the communication got it so and now let us see the important part the working so before going to working tls is very simple it is a protocol uh, not not exactly protocol it is just defined in order to provide the security in the transport layer got it and it is derived from the ssl um, and the secure socket layer protocol and also it is mainly used for providing the connection between the client and the server so that the data is not lost or data is not attacked by the third party got it and it is used in many of the mail transfer message transfer file transfer protocols now working so as I said, it uses the handshake mechanism, right? In SSL, we have already learned about what handshake mechanism is. So here, it uses the client server handshake mechanism. That is the handshake will happen between the client and server. So that is the main concept here. Got it? First, what happens is in handshake mechanism, first, what we will be doing, we will be establishing a connection with the server, right? So here also, first, we will be establishing the connection between the client and server. It can be a wireless connection, it can be a wired connection, or it can be anything, right? So first, what you have to do is you need to establish the connection once you do the establishment of the connection key exchange will happen between the client and server client and server will exchange their keys and they will cross check whether this is an appropriate client or not and this client also will check whether this is an appropriate server or not right first key exchange will happen now that key exchange may happen through Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm I already explained in, about this Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm in my previous videos so now the second so once key exchange is successful in the second step what happens is TLS protocol will open an encryption channel why encryption channel in order to do the encryption of the data right so if the server has to send some data to client or if the client has to send some data to the server it will not just like that it will not send right so it will have to encrypt the message in order to make the message as a cipher text so that nobody can understand right so here also now TLS protocol will open an encryption channel where encryption is performed and this encryption can be done by rc4 algorithm or idea algorithm or des algorithm or aes algorithm so whatever encryption algorithms you are having you can apply or any of the algorithm according to the uh, type of the data you have and you can do the encryption in the encryption channel done so first step that is key exchange between client and server is done and in the second step encryption is also done set now in the third step it also ensures that the messages are not altered so uh, this tls protocol it will not only see that there uh, so yeah wait mm. tls protocol 
not only ensures that there is no attacker in the network and but also it ensures that the messages are not altered the messages are not changed okay so it ha it is done by any of the hashing algorithms so this um, can be done by any of the hashing algorithms and like md5 or sha algorithm got it so i hope you guys are clear what happens in this uh, tls it is very simple uh, first a uh, connection is established between the client and the server then the client and server both will exchange their keys with each other to check the authorization and then after checking it will now if if tls thinks that if the server thinks that okay this client is an appropriate client so i can share my data with him then the tls protocol will open a encryption channel where the encryption of data will happen later TLS protocol will also ensure that the data which is being sent from the client to the server or server to the client is not changed in between got it by the help of some hashing algorithms like sha or md5 so this is about the uh, tls protocol and also rfc that is uh, request for comments 2246 i said right it is defined in rfc 2246 in the start of the video so this rfc 2246 is almost similar to ssl v3 that is ssl version 3 in ssl we have different versions so in those versions it is almost similar to the third version of the ssl got it so the main concept which we are using here is we are using the handshake protocol got it so this is all about this video transport layer security i know the video is very short and it is also very easy right in the next video let's meet up with another topic and if you're still having any doubts you can contact through my uh, me through my uh, contact details which i give you in the description box and thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming